Happy Halloween! What's up, y'all? X Team Featurette. I'm Chris. It is finally October, so things are getting spooky. Got all my Halloween decorations up, so my house is feeling festive. I haven't made a video in a minute, but um, if you've been following me on Instagram, I've been posting what I'm watching and stuff, having conversations with you dudes, and I uh, thought I'd make a pickup video because I haven't in quite some time. Firstly, way back when, Greg Garwood, our dude, sent us um, a bunch of Bigfoot movies, and I didn't show those off yet. Um, obviously, I'll go more in detail whenever I make my Bigfoot video, but he sent us Stomping Ground, which um, my buddy Lee on Instagram suggested this to me, and Greg sent it to me very generously, and I watched it, and it was awesome. Um, really enjoyed it. Sasquatch Mountain. This is the one with this. This has Lance Henriksen. Um, and then I was surprised Tim Thomerson's in it, which um, was, I don't know if you could like see him on the back, but there's my bae, Tim Thomerson. I love him. He was amazing in this movie. Um, really love Sasquatch Mountain. And then Willow, Cre Willow Creek, have not watched that yet, and exists, which I hear nothing but great things about. So, um, and I have a couple other Bigfoot flicks to add to the marathon, but Greg sent those four to me, and I really wanted to thank you again, dude. Um, that was, like, super generous of you, and, um, <laughs> yeah, very excited to watch the rest of those. So, thank you again, Greg. I went a little bit nuts with, uh, Vinegar Syndrome. I made a video in the past about these, uh, five films, five years, uh, compilation discs. This one is Volume 1, Golden Age Erotica, and then there is Volume 2, Horror and Exploitation. So I talked, I made a video in the past about these two in particular, um, but then I lost them. Um, so I bought both of these, then I bought Volumes 3 and 4, it's another Golden Age Erotica, and then uh, Horror and Exploitation. So there are two Erotica, two Horror and Exploitation, but... As of right now, Volume 2, 3, and 4 are still available on Vinegar Syndrome's site. I don't remember how much they are. They're like, I don't know, like 25 bucks or something. It's not that bad. Um, it's like, it, you know, if you like include shipping, it's like 5 or $6 per movie. There's five movies on each of these. Volume 1, the Golden Age Erotica, um, it has Too Naughty to Say No, Hot and Saucy Pizza Girls, Ribald Tales of Canterbury, Prisoner of Paradise, Dixie Ray, Hollywood Star are the five movies on this one. This one's no longer available on Vinegar Synd Syndrome's website, so um, I had to buy it on eBay because I really wanted to see. There is a, um, there's two Bob Chin movies on here, and there is, uh, the Ribald Tales of Canterbury stars, stars Hyapatia Lee, so I really wanted to see the movies on this one, so I had to, you know, fork out some cash on eBay. Um, as far as the other ones, we have Volume 2 I talked about in the past, but Volume 3 has Dracula Sucks, Corporate Assets, Vixens of Kung Fu, uh, Tropic of Desire, and Baby Rosemary. Then um, Volume 4 has Cry Wilderness, which is actually a Bigfoot movie from 1986. So that one will be featured. Then I have Vampire Hookers, Evil Come, Evil Go, The Cutthroats, and Teenage Seductress. So there's some really good sounding titles on these, um, these compilations. So I really enjoy that Vinegar Syndrome put those out. And um, yeah, I think they're just like really sweet. And some random stuff that I found. Lewis Switcher and I picked up Up the Creek, which is a Kino release, and we found this at Encore Records in Ann Arbor, Michigan, which um, I guess he likes that store. It was my first time there. They had some really interesting finds, so that was cool, but he was really excited to see this. We watched it, and it was, um, I would suggest it if um, you guys ever had the opportunity to watch it. It was like a story about underdogs. It was a cool, um, cool summer movie, so... Yeah, it was, a, it was a good one. Roger Dodger. Picked this up only because Jesse Eisenberg's in it. Read the synopsis. It has to do with, like, um, I guess picking up women or something. You know, su seducing skirts. So that sounded interesting. Good enough for me. Joe Dirt 2. 
we were on the hunt for this one because I recently made Lewis Switcher. <laughs> I, like, twisted his arm, made him watch the first one, which he was totally against seeing. It's, like, a comedy favorite of mine. So, um, I think that it's awesome. Have never seen this, but I'm looking forward to it. Heather Locklear is flirting with 40. I don't know what that's all about, but it's in the pickups anyway. Found a Linnea Quigley double feature at a local uh, flea market. It is a Vinegar Syndrome release, Murder Weapon, and Deadly Embrace. A Linnea Quigley double feature. I don't know how this could be good, but I bought it anyway because um, it's Linnea Quigley and it's Vinegar Syndrome and it was like $3 or something. The Evil Dead remake. I saw this in theaters. I have not seen it since then because I missed the steelbook at Target and that just ticked me off so much that I could not bear to own it if it wasn't the steelbook. But I finally broke down and was like, look, I'm rewatching all of the Evil Dead series. I love Evil Dead and I loved this movie. I thought that it was a really good remake. You know, people had a grudge against it. They're like, oh, Ash is a girl. It's stupid. You know, none of the characters are likable. I don't think the characters have to be likable. They're getting killed off. You know, it's freaking Evil Dead. You have blood raining down. You have, uh, you know, Grandpa the dog, a bunch of hipsters. I don't care. I thought that the dog was cool. I thought that the buckets of blood was cool. And Ash wasn't a girl. That's just stupid. The protagonist was a girl. It doesn't mean it's Ash. So, you know, haters, if you hate this movie, you know, go about your day. I love it and I'm going to watch it. I'm going to enjoy it. And, um, you know, will absolutely blow you away. Um, I don't know. Will it? So that's my rant. I really enjoyed it. Texas Chainsaw. I saw this in the theaters in 3D, of course. Um, I really enjoyed this too. I thought that it was a great installment to Texas Chainsaw. I don't think that there's a bad movie in the Texas Chainsaw franchise. Fight me. Um, so I really liked this. I think that there was a really cool leather face in it. And I really liked, um, you know, the, the, the modern, you know, kids in it, whatever. I thought that they were stupid, but they're kids in a horror movie. They're just gonna die. So it doesn't matter if they're stupid or not. But this Leatherface was cool. I thought that um, Leatherface's cousin was, like, really cool. I didn't like her as a character, but I thought that it was, like, a really um, good way to fit into the story. You know, the dates and stuff, like, the timeline, I don't care about all that. This was a good movie. Um, you know, the whole, the cheesiest line, whenever she throws him the chainsaw, is like, do your thing, cuz. Okay, that sucked, but it was hilarious at the same time. Uh, but this is a great movie. I've been looking for this because I wanted to see it. It held up. It was a solid Texas Chainsaw movie. I'll be watching it again. I got this in the mail from Mill Creek for review. Straight Jacket and Berserk, the Psycho Biddy double feature. Both of these movies star Joan Crawford. One's from 63, one's from 67. So um, they both sound like a really good time. Read the synopsis. Sound a little ridiculous? Right up my alley. So look for a review on this in the future. Regular show. A TV show. What? This is a children's show. It is from Cartoon Network. It's a Blu-ray. This show is amazing. If you don't know about this, I highly suggest, you know, checking out a couple episodes or something on YouTube or whatever, or wherever you can find it, because it is funny. It's about these, like, it's kind of like workaholics, but um, the cartoon version is how I would describe it. It's about these, like, two slackers, and um, they are just obsessed with... Um, they're obsessed with, like, wrestling and um, video games and VHS tapes. But if you're, like, a media nerd or a movie nerd, which you probably are, there's this whole, like, subplot to regular show where there's, um, there's the format wars. First, there's, like, VHS and beta versus, like, DVD and Blu-ray. And then there's like all of the all of the physical formats versus streaming. So this is relevant. I really enjoyed those episodes, the Format Wars episodes. Um, it's really it's really cool seeing like the streaming services and Wi-Fi fighting like Blu-ray and VHS, Laserdisc. So um, you know check that out. And then finally I picked up Phantasm three and four because I didn't have them. 
So um, I have all of the Phantasm standalone now. So these look really cool. They, you know, match whenever you line them up. They match my other Phantasms. I have the remastered um, first one. I have Phantasm 2. I have Ravager. Now I have 3 and 4. So they're going to look cool. The only thing that pisses me off is that, you know, I posted on Instagram. All the corners and stuff are all mangled. So um, I'll just look at them from really, really far away. So I won't have to, like, be upset every time I look at them. So I guess whatever, you know, the slips are messed up. But they're, they're just so cool. You know, I try not to care about slips, but they're, like, holographic. They look so cool. They have the tall man. They're beautiful. But they're just messed up because Amazon sucks. So, you know, whatever. But um, I'm just happy that I have three and four in my collection. They, um, now I have all the Blu-rays that match. And um, I just hate, like, having certain movies of like a series on different formats like whenever you have like some on dvd and then some on blu-ray it just drives me insane so this caters to like my weird obsessions so that's great i'm happy to own these i know i picked up more stuff but i can't find it i keep on holding on to stuff for like a month and then forgetting <laughs> what i bought so maybe i should post videos more often I don't really buy a lot of stuff though. I mean, I'm very, um, very selective about, you know, what I buy. <laughs> it either is terrible and extremely cheap or something that I spend like way too much money on. So those are my September pickups. I will call it September even though I didn't post it till October. Spooky. It's one of my subscribers. I don't know if he's okay with me giving his name, so I won't do that just yet. But we've been talking about um, 3D. I made a video about 3D in the past. And we have been talking about um, field sequential 3D. So this dude sent me the system, the glasses, like a whole library of um, of movies. And I did try a few of them and, um, and they worked perfectly. I really appreciate you sending that to me. Um, and all, like all the work that you went through to do this. So I will make a video in the future about that. I've just been going through some major life changes. So... Um, stuff's a little bit nuts but you know that is um I, I do really appreciate you doing that so I will um I haven't forgotten about it I did receive it everything's cool since I'm still talking I will throw some shout outs check out my boy Lewis Switcher um his show's a lot more entertaining than mine so you know you should probably just watch him check out my boy Matatron he has very consistent videos very funny stuff He's an entertaining guy, much more uh, watchable than my videos, so give him a give him a click. I still have more than 300 subs somehow, and um, I am going to do a giveaway. I'll do something like Halloween themed. I need to buy something so I can post it the next time I make a video. I'll probably post it on Instagram first because I'm there every day. You should follow me on there. We'll have fun, and you can look at all my cute little Halloween decorations, and we'll be pals. So I will talk to you next time and have a spooky October.